talk to us talk to us fucking nicely rangers win baby five to two over the pittsburgh penguins in game two of the playoffs and you're welcome for not going to this game i'm going to game five and i don't care they're gonna fucking win that game all right well i probably just jinxed it right there but i don't give a shit i'm going to game five rangers win this one five to two over the pittsburgh penguins like i said and what a response after that tragedy that was game number one that was embarrassing the way they played in the second period the way they played in pretty much every single overtime period the third period they had some chances they could have took the lead there goal got called off it is what it is so let's see how you respond respond to that loss and what did they do they came out with a fire under their ass and they won this game before we dive into the action, be sure to leave a like on this video if you do enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new, especially if you're Ranger fans. We cover every single Ranger game here on the channel, as well as turn the notifications on so you know when I upload, even though it is after every Ranger game. So you could just come to the channel then. But what a response by the Rangers. There were times, there were times where I'm not going to lie, I did get nervous. I was not safe. I did not feel safe when they had two goal lead. I did not feel safe when they got close and it made, and they made a one goal lead, especially when Sidney Crosby just magically went through three fucking Rangers. But that's besides the point. All right, here we go. First period. Vetrano, he gets the opening chance, first chance of the game. That was just a nice little feed there. Forgot who even fed him the puck on that one. But Vetrano gets the first chance for the Rangers of the game. And the Rangers, th this looked pretty ugly early. I won't lie. You had a miss hold by Logan O'Connor behind the net. Uh, or Logan. Why did I call him Logan? Who the hell is Logan? Drew O'Connor. My bad. Drew O'Connor behind the net. And they don't call it. Rodriguez then hit Igor. They could have maybe called something there, but at the end of the day, I don't know. There was a lot of pushing and shoving between Rodriguez and Fox, so can't really say much. Nemeth then takes a stupid cross check. There was people saying on Twitter, soft call in the playoffs. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to complain that they called that one because it, it, it's a stupid penalty. You can't be doing that. You can't do that. Nobody is near you. You can't do that, and you're lucky that Pittsburgh did not make you pay for that because the Rangers had an outstanding penalty kill and right after the penalty kill who is it who is it that's gonna score the first goal of the game oh of course it is super trade deadline pickup andrew cop as he scores of a beautiful feed from panarin and braun also with a nice little play there adam fox leading up to it had a nice play leading it into the zone and andrew cop he snipes that one knee down and the rangers go up one to nothing and then the bad chat, he got robbed right at the doorstep, pretty much right after. Huge save there by Louis Domingue. Starts calling Domingue all of last game. But Louis Domingue uh, stops him there. And then unfortunately, because the Rangers did have done this, how many times? How many times in the, well, obviously, uh, you know, it's only been two games. But still, the Rangers, every single time this series already, let Pittsburgh just Roll right back into this. And Panarin, with a brutal turnover in the neutral zone, he gifts that one. And I mean gifts that one. And what happens? Pittsburgh gets a chance. It goes by net. Little play there from Pedersen as he dishes it out. Miller it goes off his skate. Panarin with a lazy defensive effort. And Gensel just gets a gift right in front of the net. And that makes it a one-to-one -one game. Crosby gets the assist there. So that was an unfortunate bounce and an unfortunate turnover by Panarin. Panarin then with another turnover right after, which almost led to a goal by Kasperi Kapanen, but that ended up getting stopped. Thank God. Then Rangers applied some pressure and they couldn't bury on any of those chances there. Drew then gets a shot that, or he shoots a shot that was gloved by Louis Domingue. O'Connor then, he hit one off the post. How many times do the Rangers want to do this to my heart with these post shots? I don't know, but they're doing it. Strom then took a delay a game penalty, which was just stupid. You had time, man. You had time to wait and patiently get that out of the zone. But instead, he shoots that out to Narnia. And Pittsburgh goes on to the power play. And on that, Pittsburgh doesn't get much. Another great kill. The Rangers actually, I think, had some shorthanded chances here. But 
Another great kill there by the Rangers. And then Matheson cross checks Meek in the face. Nothing called. Crosby then takes a couple whacks at Fox. Oh, nothing to see here. And that ends the period. And overall, I wasn't. I was 50 50 on that period. I was 50 50. I thought that they played a decent game, but at the same time, there were times where they made it way too close. 14 11 in favor of the Rangers for shots in that period. So overall, it was a bit too close. The second period, though, the second period, the Rangers came out with a mission. They came out with a mission. Pedersen, he gets a uh, shot that got stopped. Marino then off the. Uh, goes off for cross-checking cop. So the Rangers finally get a power play in this game, which we've been begging for in the playoffs even. They had one last game. They converted. And you bet your ass they're going to convert here. And they had the tease us. They had the worry us though for a second. Panarin that had a chance. That went high. And then Fox, he had a chance and couldn't bury the rebound there. Strom then just missed the deflection. And what does Strom do next? He deflects a shot from Adam Fox, or Temi Panarin will also pick up an apple. And it looked scary of what they were doing with the play there. Panarin with a l weird little play there. But somehow, he gets it back to Fox. Fox shoots it, and it goes right through Louis Deming. And that makes it a 2-1 game. Goes through the 5-hole. And right after that, Reeves throws a huge hit on Gino. And then Hunt... Ew, we got kind of lucky that nothing got called there because Hunt did make it look pretty bad on Malkin with a trip there. I won't lie, the officiating did get bad for both sides in this game. Uh, there's no denying that. The officiating was pretty bad on both sides. And definitely a more fair game, though, I guess, in that regard. So, hey, I guess neither side could necessarily complain with this one. As much as I complained about the first period missed calls, Pittsburgh does have some rights to complain about a couple of things in this period fox though was hooked and nothing was called like i said that was a theme the refs were letting a lot of things go but at least it was a pretty fair called game this one in my opinion ron then had a shot that ended up getting denied russ then missed uh wide on a breakaway opportunity and then igor made a huge stop afterwards i and then walked in alone he missed that chance Nemeth, he had a chance that was gloved after the third line, had a great shift. And how about the third line getting chances and chances and chances? I love what I saw from the third line tonight. Boyle, then he got denied for another night. And then another thing, a theme that became a theme, a theme that became a theme, sure. Uh, something that became a theme tonight is what I meant to say is for whatever reason, the Rangers, someone would get close to deflecting one in, and that in this case is Chris Kreider. And then he ends up deflecting one right after as Vitrano rips one from the blue line after great puck movement and pressure by the Rangers and Kreider deflect, deflects, deflects that one in. That makes it a 3-1 game. And Miller gets an apple on that one. And the Rangers go up 3-1, like I said. Crosby then, he missed the deflection in front of the net. Lucky there. Happening then, uh, Hell Panarin. Rangers got a power play. And unfortunately, the Rangers... Couldn't score on this one. Mika missed a golden chance in the slot. Uh, or in the slot. In the dot. Uh, Panarin then was robbed on a glove save. As uh, Louis Domingue lost his stick. How many times with the Rangers this year. Are they going to get absolutely robbed by goalies. That are missing part of their equipment. But nothing will be worse than. That's your Demko earlier in the season. Not having a glove on his hand. And the Rangers not scoring. I digress. That was earlier in the season. I'm not going to dwell on that. But. It's still living in my nightmares. I'm not going to lie. And then Revo and Rooney threw some big hits. Love to see that. Igor then with a stop on Marino and then Latang with a shot. And that got stopped as well. Vetrano then he gets stopped. And the Rangers, unfortunately, though, they scare us as Crosby magically just walks through three guys. And Russ and Matheson get the apples on that. And I don't know. I don't know how he got through Trub and Braun. Igor probably has to get the rebound there from the rush chance. But at the end of the day, it's just a good goal there by Pittsburgh. And I don't know who I could fault there. It was just a good goal. And it's unfortunate. Mika then got stopped in front in the period. Ended there. Shots in that period, 17 to 14 in favor of the Rangers. Not a fan with how they played defensively. Uh, 
pretty much the whole game, honestly, but uh, it is what it is there. Third period, not too much action, honestly, in this period. As it, get, it got scary, though. There was a lot of action for the wrong team, unfortunately, at the beginning of this period, as Igor, he made a huge save on Malkin back door, and then he made a huge save on Crosby alone in front of the net. That definitely turned the tides a bit in this game. And it took the Rangers long enough. They're going to have a shot like 7 to nothing or 8 to nothing. But Andrew Kopp gets the first shot of the period. It's not a good shot, but he does get the first shot of the period for the Rangers. And it took like 5 to 7 minutes, like I said, which was pretty frustrating. Vetrano then, he had a shot that just missed. Rangers continue the pressure, and I knew it. I called it. I knew they were going to score, not in the way that I thought, but Artemi Panarin, he picks up his first goal of the playoffs from Vetrano and Miller, and it took a weird bounce, but I'll take it. Uh, Panarin just throws it in front of the net, and I'm hoping that he was just intending to get a lucky bounce because there was literally no Ranger player in front of the net. This could have led to a bad turnover and something the other way, but it ends up going off of Matheson and in, so the Rangers take a 4-2 lead. And not too long after that, Frank Vetrano sends Matheson to another freaking continent with the move that he makes on him. And he snipes one on Louis Domingue, and that makes it a 5-2 game. Schneider with the assist. McGinn then, he takes a whack at Hedl in front of the net. Hedl whacks him back. They go 4-4. Four four. Miller, what about a nice move by him? He looked freaking great all game. A nice move by him, and he gets a good shot, but that got stopped. Crosby then denied by Igor. And then Carter absolutely runs over Igor Shesterkin here. Uh, you have to think that's going to end up being at least a fine. So just completely unnecessary. The puck wasn't even near the play. He had plenty of time to get out of the way. Completely unnecessary. Thankfully, Igor was okay and stayed in the game. Carter and Lafreniere get the penalties. Rangers got a power play, though, as Carter's penalty was a four-minute one. And Lafreniere took two minutes for roughing as he stood up for Igor. Miller then was slashed by Rodriguez. Rangers got a couple of chances at the end, but it didn't matter. Game over. Rangers freaking win. And they tie the series at one. Um, in terms of things that I didn't like in this game, like I said, I wasn't too big of a fan of how the Rangers played defensively, if I'm being completely honest. I would say it's nitpicking, but this is playoff hockey where I should be nitpicking and criticizing little things with this team. And something that I did not like at all is the fact that they didn't look good enough defensively. And then the power play, they got some power play opportunities. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, some of them were at the end of the game, so I guess I can't really complain. But overall, I'm not going to complain too much. That's a huge win. Rangers needed it, especially going on the road. You can't go down 2 to nothing series in terms of each individual line the first line Petrano, Zibanejad and Kreider I don't know why I almost forgot it for a second but I thought that they had a pretty decent game Mika Zibanejad looked a lot better last game in six periods he only had like three shots this game he has five shots on goal couldn't convert sucks that Louis Domingue wears the glove on the right hand because that completely throws off Mika there but overall I like his game tonight Kreider, he had a great game, of course, scoring a goal because that's what Chris Kreider does. And Vitrano, the Penguin killer himself, had an absolutely amazing game. He needs to start shooting more, though. I will say that. He had four shots. Shoot more. Shoot more because you're a freaking animal. Second line, Panarin, Strom, and Kopp. I, there were times where I didn't like Panarin's play. They, he turned the puck over way too much. Can't be doing that. You cannot be doing that. I didn't like the turnovers by Panarin, but he definitely cleaned things up later in the game, and he had a big game, three points, and Kopp, I liked his game, and then Strom actually had a pretty solid game too, so I like that. Kopp also had a chance on a two-on-one break with Strom late in that period on the four-on-four, -four, so I like to see that. Third line being the younger line, that being Lafreniere, Heedle, and Kako. I like that line a lot. There were times where Pittsburgh kept throwing the first line out against them, and it definitely, they definitely were getting exposed for a couple things. But overall, I thought that they played pretty well, and they had opportunities to score again. Lafreniere is playing like a monster right now in the playoffs. The points aren't there, but how about him throwing some mean hits? I'm loving what I'm seeing from Lafreniere in the playoffs. And then Hedl and Paco, they looked pretty solid as well. And the fourth line, 
bit of a change. Barkley Goudreau apparently got injured, so that was scary, but I, I'd imagine he's back for game three. But the third line tonight instead ended up being Reeves, Rooney, and Hunt. I thought that they played a pretty solid game as well. I liked what I saw from them. Reeves has been an animal in the playoffs. You're seeing what he's doing. I'm wearing the Reeves jersey right now, as you can see. He had six hits in this one, a huge one on Malkin. Like I said, love what I saw from Revo. For the defense, uh, you had something different because Lundgren did play. I'd imagine he's going to be back for game three. The fact they came back and played three overtimes in that last game, I'd imagine he's going to be back for game three. Who knows? But to win without Lindgren also is huge, by the way. So it ended up being Braun and Fox, the top pair. And I thought Braun played a really solid game other than somehow letting Sidney Crosby go magician mode and go through him. I thought Braun, considering he hasn't played too much down the stretch lately, I really liked what I saw from him. And I thought he played some good shutdown hockey. And Fox, he wants this bad. He wants this bad. I talked about all season that Adam Fox, everyone wants this. But nobody's going to want it more than Adam Fox. Growing up a Ranger fan on Long Island, he wants us bad. He wants us bad. He showed it. Miller and Truba. Truba, there were times where I thought he had a couple bad pinches and left Miller behind. Miller has looked pretty good, though. I will say that. Miller with two apples, five shots on goal. I'd like him to use the body a bit more. Truba, though, he had a pretty decent game. There was one defensive play made in the third period. I think it was on Malkin that really stood out to me. What I saw from him and for the bottom pair, Nemeth and Schneider, I thought that they were pretty stable too. They didn't get too much ice time, so we didn't see much of them, but that's better because Nemeth should not be playing too much. He took a really bad penalty again. He needs to stop doing that. And Schneider, I thought, played a pretty solid game. Overall, though, I think the defense together needs to tighten up a bit, but the forwards also need to be more responsible defensively because there are times where they looked lazy. But overall, happy. And then Igor, an animal. Shots in total in the game, because I completely skipped over that somehow. 41 to 40 in favor of Pittsburgh. 53 to 47 in favor of Pittsburgh in the faceoff dot. Hits 40 to 27 in favor of the Rangers. Block shots 12 to 8 in favor of Pittsburgh. And giveaways 25 for Pittsburgh, 23 for the Rangers. Shots in the third. I don't know if I mentioned it. 16 to 9 in favor of Pittsburgh there. And let's get to Twitter now and wrap up the video here. New York South 24. I almost had a heart attack when Igor went down, but what a win. Yeah, that definitely scared me. Uh, if your gift came to this game, we wouldn't be sitting here as happy about the win because we'd obviously be really concerned about Igor, but he looked fine. Thankfully, at the end, let's hope that everything will be okay with him. But Jeff Carter, completely unnecessary, and I'm pissed off still about that. Dwayne Bacon says, as long as Igor is okay, I'm fucking, I'm thrilled. Fuck the Pens. We move to Pittsburgh. Yeah, I completely, uh, well, Igor did look fine, so I'm assuming he is. And yeah, now it's time to go win in Pittsburgh. And then Laugh for MVP says, do you think Igor will be okay? He looked fine at the end of the game. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that, yes, yes, he will. And wow. I, I can't believe it. For the first time since 2017, the New York Rangers win a playoff game. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will be here for game three. Be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new, especially for Ranger fans. Turn notifications on, and I will see you in the next one. Let's go, Rangers, baby.